For years, Galactus has plagued Marvel Comics, especially 616, as a being who exists merely to consume. Whether planetary, solar system, consuming galaxies, or even universes, Galactus' primary function is to be a universal constant force that consumes in order to bring balance. He's neither good nor evil, he just is. He doesn't appeal to a moral law, he just appeals to his hunger. Now, a lot of people are torn on how they feel Galactus is strength-wise. Um, some rank him very high, some rank him very low, you know, not many in the middle, um, just depends on your perspective. But what if I told you Galactus was stronger than we previously thought based on newer runs? It's your boy Sir Splash, and this video is presented by the Splash Institute of Research, and I hope you enjoy. So, Galactus was introduced originally as a character in the Fantastic Four that was, he sent his herald, the Silver Surfer, to scout Earth and was coming to Earth in order to consume it, in order to, you know, better um, boost his energy stock. He, we learned pretty early on, he consumes in order to preserve and amp his energy in order to survive against his ever-lasting hunger. Now, this Galactus, you know, at first glance, you know, super basic. We'll be like, oh, Galactus came in planetary. No, those are snacks to him. They're literally stuff he wakes up and eats. Also, I'm going to go over why consuming stars and planets and marvels actually pretty impressive. But anyway, so some of the things Galactus has done over the years, I'm going to explain the significance. In one run of Fantastic Four, he actually interrupts the writer to correct him on a stance the writer has on Silver Surfer. Um, in fact, he says, Ahem. Of course, sometimes it's used in a less dignified manner that befits a creation of Galactus. So he literally cuts off the writer and talks about, hey, sometimes, you know, what goes on uh, isn't exactly what it is. Um, so that's fourth wall breaking. Actually, prior to research, didn't know Galactus possessed such things. Um, his hell, his uh, world is apparently on the border of eternity and oblivion. Galactus himself is a being of arcane science and is above moral codes and justifications and serves as a constant balance in creation. He can turn your desire into reality casually. Um, he can subtly alter your soul to the point where you don't even know it's happening, even for beings like Silver Surfer. He isn't phased by Thanos obtaining supreme power. In fact, he's like... Yo, Surfer, bring me a Scooby snack. We're going to prepare for this boy because clearly he's scheming. It is stated in the classic Doctor Strange run that planets and stars have infinite powers and stars in the skies are comparable to dimensions. Why is this important for a Galactus scale? Well, Galactus essentially consumes infinite power. Um, Galactus is stated in a run to be... Um, how do I know his face, his name? How could I possibly know such things? And yet I do. He is Galactus, an omnipotent creature beyond form and understanding, who takes form to manifest himself to lesser beings. Now, obviously, Galactus isn't omnipotent. He's just omnipotent relative to the viewpoint of the basic life form viewing him. But we understand from that passage that Galactus himself is beyond forms himself. Yes, actual Galactus is outer versal. Here's some other stuff he's done. He entered hell to retrieve his herald Nova and fought Mephisto to a standstill, and their very battle threatened the universe. Uh, Mephisto is equal to a restrained cosmic cube in hell. The same cube gave Thanos complete control over space-time continuum. It was said he could consume the entire Ultimate Universe pretty easily. Um, moving on, he has threatened to undo all of creation in his fight with Scryer and others. So he pulled up on these beings and fought them, and the remnants of the battle actually threatened all of creation itself, not just the Universe. Um, 
Scryer alone is capable of slaying the fallen stars empowered man thing. Among the fallen stars is Divine Mother Cleato, who is all things and all things are her. So you could say, you know, creation came from her. And this is impressive because Galactus was able to battle Scryer and others simultaneously who scaled to this feat. Um, when you look at why I say, you know, something like this is crazy and the fact that he was able to stalemate in between her, who represents dualities itself, um, his power, Galactus's power is combined, uh, with the cosmic cubes gave Dr. Doom enough power to destroy all of existence. Um, this is crazy because Doom himself admitted Cosmic Cubes was but a fragment of Galactus's own power, which kind of, you know, signifies how strong real Galactus is. Um, also, he was capable of destroying the Cosmic Seed. The Cosmic Seed is important because, according to Odin, this was supposed to survive the death and rebirth of all of creation. Now, all these feats in mind, everything he's done. I just want to go over the what-if potential of why Galactus is probably a lot stronger than we've even said here. We've given him out versal scaling in this very video. I'm going to go ahead and refer, I believe this is from the Dematteis run, in which Galactus makes an appearance. It is stated on panel, what we normally see of Galactus is the merest tip. He's an iceberg of cosmic dimensions. No, worse, he has no dimensions. No boundaries at all. Now, there's a couple things to note. Yes, yes, it is confirmed, you know, Galactus is outerversal. I've already given you multiple feats that could honestly and fairly scale, you know, um, actual galactus to stuff ideas like the phoenix force which is fine you know i'm fine with that because we know full power galactus operates above creation can survive things that threaten all of creation itself but what's most important from this comic that we obtain is the fact that apparently we have not seen anything of the true actual galactus what we've seen is just apparently a like tip of his power, a fragment of his cosmic power. We have actually failed to see what his true power and what he truly brings to the table is. Now, that idea is terrifying considering how he fought Scryer and other, stalemated in between her. He's compared to being above the cosmic cube. Um, all of these factors. Apparently, Galactus, the actual Galactus, his true f nature, true power, fundamentally scales above everything we've seen. Now, a couple things with this. This might be a retcon, but even if it's a retcon, it significantly amplifies the true primordial nature of Galactus and just how strong he could be. We're looking at probably layers of outer versal with this being the case since it's a mere fragment infinitesimal compared to what he's truly capable of so in the end while galactus over the years has fluctuated in power which is understandable because you know different writers different scenarios we do know now and according to a few other comics now, what we've seen isn't necessarily what Galactus is fully capable of. A lot of times he's operating under different situations and apparently is actually just projecting himself down to dimensions, which makes sense in context with we know a lot of characters he scales to or above, like Mephisto, Nightmare, even Odin, um, in between her himself. They all project themselves down to dimensionality for us to better understand what they represent in the abstract, what they represent as abstract entities. We know Galactus directly either compares to them or scales above them entirely. So this explanation for what we've seen from Galactus and the fact that it's probably not even close to the best of what he's capable of does make sense contextually. So while Galactus does have varied scaling from 
planet plus solar system galaxy multi galaxy feats in the universal multiversal hyperversal to all the way to outerversal range due to the fact that we have confirmation he projects himself it not only explains why his power fluctuates but it also better illustrates that his power may very well be beyond anything we have seen from him to date anyways Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy for all you Galactus fans. I hope you enjoy the research we've put in. Once again, I want to shout out the Splash Institute of Research. We've been grinding in our server. We've been, you know, finding information everywhere. I've found stuff. They've found stuff. It's awesome. Anyways, let me know if you like the video. If you want to see Galactus in a versus matchup, I can look into doing that. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Make sure to share my videos. It's been your boy, Sir Splash, and I will see you all later. Peace.